We've heard the old adage time and time again, haven't we? That technology is taking over. AI will be the thing. And before you know it, we'll all be out of a job. Well, one little sector of society which could be out of a job, which I never even thought of, was the good old-fashioned parking warden. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad. Let me know you are in the comments. Good to see you. Thank you for your support. And it's very much appreciated. Like this sign and t-shirt say in the background, please continue to keep doing what you're doing. It helps the channel grow. and I'm very grateful. Well, if you drive a car, this one's for you. There's very big business in this country, be it private parking companies or councils, with regard to issuing parking fines for, well, a myriad of different things. When the fine's issued, more often than not, people are doing this and not paying, particularly when private parking companies are concerned. And you know what my feelings are on them if you watch this channel long enough. Well, it appears that uh, technology has been turned to uh, in the fight for this, and robots... Yes, robots in Liverpool, of all places, have been spotted physically scooping cars up and removing them, uh, actually sticking them on themselves and driving them off somewhere, an effective form of electronic impound. Sounds like saying out the bloody Terminator films, doesn't it? Recent videos have appeared online showing cars being towed away in Liverpool by remote-controlled robots. And they reckon... Uh, last year there was 20,000 parking fines issued every day by councils across the UK and 30,000 issued by private companies, as I was saying, they're the two kinds. Uh, robots have been deployed in parts of the country in a bid to tackle the poor parking problem common among motorists. Originally built by French company Multitract, a robot named East Tract has been spotted in Liverpool removing illegally parked vehicles. Towing company Recovery Northwest, which specialises in towing heavy equipment, is managing the new innovation. The robot can carry a weight of 5,500 pounds, just under the weight of two Ford Fiestas. I wonder if they're electric ones. And is powered by a 35 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine. It's been implemented in multi-storey car parks because it's able to pick up and remove problem cars easily in tightly restricted spaces, with revenue in the robotics market projected to reach a billion pound this year, the UK should brace for increased integration of innovations like East Tract. You can have a look at the uh, link in the description below and you can see a picture of this damn thing. It's just lifted a car up, gone out. I wonder if there'll be an invention of some kind of blame Blade Runner pandemic up there like there is in London with the ULES cameras, but whatever next, huh? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you soon with one more. Toodaloo. <laughs>